Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with a tag, actually. This is the Would You Rather Tag Makeup Edition. The, I believe the person that created it was Kelly Gooch. I will link her video down below. Uh, when I saved all the questions, hers is the video that I saved. So either, I'm assuming she started it. If she was not the starter, I will obviously make a note of that and link the person who started it down below. But I've had this saved for a while, but I figured in a month of quarantine, let's have some fun with some tags, shall we? I miss those. We should do those more often. I also did a Project Pan tag recently, I think like last month, maybe? I'm not sure, but I can link that down below as well. Like I said, I miss tags. I haven't done one in ages, anyways. Like they haven't been around really in ages. Let me put it that way. But let's get to the questions. There are, I have nine listed, so I'm assuming that's the amount. Question one, would you rather have a bad base or bad eye makeup? Now that depends on what we mean by bad. Um, is it like, for a bad base, is it like just not the right color? Is it settling in the fine lines? Is it really greasy? And for bad eye makeup, is it just, is it just, you know, kind of creasing? Or is it like badly blended, badly applied? Because if we're going with like not holding on, I would actually take a bad eye makeup over a bad base. If we take badly applied, the answer might be the other way around. Just me. Let's see. Number two, would you rather wear a neutral eye for the rest of your life or a neutral lip? Definitely neutral lip. I definitely like my colorful eyeshadows, but I can settle for a more neutral lip. I do like, you know, darker, more colorful lips too, obviously, but if I had to pick, which is the point of this, I would go for the neutrally lip. Would you rather wear the wrong foundation shade or no foundation at all? I would actually rather go no foundation at all, even with my skin as being a pain in the ass. I figure a little bit of powder and concealer, you can get rid of the worst of the worst as long as it matches, but wrong foundation shades show more often than not very, very badly. Like there are definitely ways to kind of conceal and correct that sort of thing. You can add whitener or darkener to a foundation. You could take it down past your shirt line, that sort of thing. But I, if I had, if I had to pick one, I'd rather just say, screw it to foundation. Would you rather give up primer or setting spray? And that's a tough one because I swear by both. Hell, I use two primers and two sprays every day because I'm just an extra bitch like that. If I had to pick, I guess I would rather give up setting spray because while well, my setting sprays, I do see a difference. I guess I could probably get away with just using a toner to kind of settle the makeup, like a moisture, a hydrating toner and spray that on my face because that's technically not a setting spray. But I definitely see a difference from when I wear primer and when I don't, like to the point of my, I feel like my makeup doesn't even go on right without a primer sometimes, so. If I had to give up one, I would rather give up setting spray, but I would rather not give up either. I, I use both. Would you rather not wear makeup for a year or not drink coffee for a year? Give up coffee, straight up. I do like coffee too, so I would rather give up coffee though. Would you rather have only 60 seconds to do your makeup daily makeup routine or have to do a full glam one hour transformation every time you do your makeup? That's actually what I do every time I do my makeup. <laughs> Um, I don't, I'm not a natural makeup kind of person, obviously. I, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do the full thing. Either I'm going to look completely put up or I'm going to look like I'm dying. <laughs> it's not quite that bad, but I have, I am starting to develop like actual circles under my eyes from just bad sleep patterns for years on end, so... If I was going to choose one to have to do, I would definitely pick the full. Would you rather use only mattes or only use shimmers? Shimmers. I find mattes to be kind of boring. Yes, they help kind of like tie a look together, especially a crease color, but if I had to pick, I would just go all shimmers. Would you rather not do makeup for a year or never watch another video, YouTube video ever again? 
That's a harsh one, but I would have to not do makeup for a year, then never watch YouTube again. If I had to give one up for a year, that would be a lot harder, and I would have to really think about that, but one year versus ever, I would definitely not wear makeup for a year, and that hurts. That really hurts. One has to go. Highlighter, bronzer, or blush? And I would actually say uh, highlighter, as much as I do love a nice, pretty highlight. Uh, if you have to take one out, either you can wear like a glowy blush, there's plenty of those out on the market, or if you want to be a cheater about this question, because it's the first thing I thought of, if you're not buying actual like cheek highlights, there are eyeshadows out there that can double as a cheek highlight. So you can either get around the question or you can go with like a glowy or blush or just out of the three, I would rather have to give up blush. Not blush, highlighter. I would rather have to give up highlighter. So, that is it. Kind of short and sweet there, but you know, I wanted to do a tag. I, f I was trying to figure out some more videos to do that I thought would be fun. So, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully, I will see you later. Bye!